very good evening everyone in this video we will try to understand what are the different defects that generally occur in fusion welding processes so to begin with we will first see what is a weld defect so basically a weld defect is nothing but a deviation any deviation from the ideal weld this is the simple definition for the defect with respect to weld or it can be said it as um, an unacceptable imperfection an unacceptable imperfection so with respect to uh, fusion welding process uh, there are around six categories of weld we will see what are those six categories and in that six categories i will try to list down uh, various defect names so in this video i will list down the defect names and in the consecutive videos i will try to explain what is the reason for the formation of a particular defect and how it can be prevented while carrying out any welding process okay so we'll see the classifications with respect to defect these are uh, these defects are mainly seen in a uh, fusion based welding processes okay so the first one is crack second one is a uh, cavities third one one second third one is a uh, solid inclusion fourth one is lack of fusion and penetration fifth one is imperfect shape and dimensions and finally we have some miscellaneous defects okay so the defects are broadly classified into these six categories okay so let's see one by one under each category what are the major defects so first one we have seen it is cracks so crack is one of the uh, dangerous defect with respect to welded samples because uh, if there is a crack uh, from the crack location uh, the fracture may get initiated and the failure of the entire system may happen so we have to take uh, proper steps while carrying out the welding uh, to avoid the formation of cracks okay so these cracks can be occurring either in uh, either of the three zones one is uh, either in the fusion zone or it can occur in the heat affected zone or it can occur in the parent metal also so we have to uh, first look where these cracks are seen okay so based on that we can uh, uh, understand what is the type of crack that is seen in the weld okay then only we can give a solution for that particular type of crack while welding next time okay so the cracks are also classified into three main categories uh, broadly first one we can say hot cracking second one we can say cold cracking and third one is lamellar tearing so the cracks that are generally occurring at high temperature are uh, grouped under hot cracking there are two main important cracks under hot cracking uh, sorry hot cracks first one is solidification cracking and second one is liquidation cracking so these are the two major uh, hot cracks that are seen in the welded samples with respect to cold crack as the name suggests these uh, cracks generally occur in the weld at room temperatures okay so uh, the major uh, hole crack that can be seen in the welder hydrogen induced cracks this hydrogen induced crack can also be called as delayed crack 
so these uh, cracks uh, uh, cannot be seen once uh, in some cases it cannot be seen in the weld uh, but it, it can get formed after uh, certain days it may take one week or uh, uh, it may take uh, more than uh, one month also so that's why the name is called a delayed crack and finally we have this uh, third category called a lamellar tearing so this uh, lamellar tearing you can easily identify if you see any cracks like these uh, staircases so this is the third category so lamellar tearing uh, generally uh, occurs in the rolled steel plates okay so it is mainly due to the presence of uh, uh, impurity elements that is the reason okay so anyway we will see uh, what is the reason for the formation of uh, solidification cracking liquidation crack and hydrogen induced cracks uh, lamellar tearing in a detailed manner in the consecutive videos so now we just understand there are three major categories first one is hot crack second one is cold crack uh, under hot crack we have two major uh, cracks one is solidification crack and uh, liquidation crack and in case of uh, cold crack we have a hydrogen induced crack and uh, the third final category is lamellar tearing okay so this is the first type of uh, defect with respect to a welded sample of any fusion welding fusion based processes second one is cavities so we'll see what is a cavity So this cavity can be uh, formed in the well sample uh, mainly because of two reasons accordingly it can be classified first reason is because of the entrapment of uh, gas gases okay so because of the entrapment of the gases we get some cavities examples are like um, examples are like gas pores surface pores and then uh, we can get uh, clustered porosities so these are all some of the examples uh, for uh, cavities that occurs mainly due to the entrapment of uh, gases okay and second category with respect to category uh, cavity may be due to the shrinkage shrinkage cavity shrinkage cavity is mainly caused due to the shrinkage that occurs during solidification due to the shrinkage that happens during solidification So these are the two major uh, cav uh, ca cavity related defects with respect to any weld samples okay so under a shrinkage cavity it can be uh, interdentritic shrinkage or micro shrinkage so these are all some of the examples under the shrinkage cavity so second uh, defect is over third one is solid inclusion so solid inclusion are basically nothing but the uh, uh, presence of some foreign objects inside the weld metal so it can be of uh, under it can be due to four different materials first one is uh, slag inclusion second one is flux inclusion third one is oxide inclusion and the fourth one we have metallic inclusions so metallic inclusion it can be any any metals like um, tungsten or copper any other metals okay so a uh, presence of any foreign objects in the weld are called solid inclusions it can be either slag inclusions or flux inclusions or oxide inclusions or metallic inclusions uh, metallic inclusion can be either uh, tungsten copper or other materials okay so these are all the uh, defects that are present in the weld due to the presence of some foreign materials okay so the presence of foreign materials are classified under the four names next finally we will go for the fourth one with respect to the defect formation 
that is lack of fusion and penetration so the fourth uh, defect is lack of fusion and penetration as the name suggests lack of fusion it can be due to the uh, lack of union between the parent material as and the weld so because of that we may get um, a defect called lack of fusion it can be of uh, three categories like um, lack of sidewall fusion so in along the interface on the sidewall there may be a lack of union or it can be due to lack of interrun fusion so interrun fusion it can be uh, occurring in a multi pass welding for example if there is a thick plates uh, which needs like uh, three to four passes to get the entire penetration so the fusion may not be uh, proper between each passes that is why uh, this lack of interrun fusion uh, defect may come okay and finally under the lack of fusion we have the third um, problem called the lack of root fusion so lack of root fusion <clears throat> this can be due to lack of root, uh, lack of root fusion can be uh, occurring at the root portion of the weld samples okay so we will see in a detailed manner what are the reasons for this uh, lack of sidewall fusion as well as uh, lack of uh, root fusion as well as lack of uh, interrun fusion in the consecutive videos under the uh, penetration defect there are two categories one is lack of full penetration and lack of sorry not lack of it is incomplete penetration and the second one is incomplete root penetration so these are the uh, general defects that occur due to lack of fusion and uh, penetration okay and fifth one with respect to defects we have seen is uh, imperfect shape and dimensions imperfect shape and dimensions it can be like a and uh, it can be an undercut it can be like a excess weld metal deposition it can be distortion so due to more heat supply distortion also can occur or it can be excess penetration and then it can be um, irregular width irregular width so in case of a weld uh, the weld width may be different along the sides due to the various factors may be unskilled uh, welder you can see here let us say this is the weld you can see here the weld is uh, having particular width here different width so that may be one imperfect shape and then uh, burn through burn through is a and uh, it will be like a hole in the weld okay so we'll see what is the reason for the burn through in the next videos okay so burn through is also one of the defect which comes under the category of imperfect shape and dimensions okay and finally we have the sixth category that is miscellaneous miscellaneous imperfections so there are two major uh, miscellaneous imperfection like tray arc and then we have um, spatter so these are the two major miscellaneous imperfection that are generally seen in fusion welder samples okay so to summarize we have seen um, uh, what is a defect with respect to weld so it is nothing but a deviation from the ideal weld or an unacceptable imperfection 
so there are six class six types of well uh, defect with respect to fusion welding process starting from crack cavities solid inclusion lack of fusion lack of fusion and penetration imperfect shape and miscellaneous defects under each categories we have seen some of the defect names for example in cracks we have seen hot cracks in hot cracks we have seen solidification liquidation hydrogen induced and a third category lamellar tearing and in the under the category of cavity we have uh, it can be of due to two reasons one due to entrapment of gases and even another due to shrinkage cavity solid inclusion is nothing but the presence of foreign object it can be a slag inclusion or flux inclusion oxide inclusion or a metallic inclusion and with respect to fourth category we have seen lack of fusion and penetration lack of fusion can be three categories again three can be three types lack of sidewall fusion in interrun fusion lack of root fusion under penetration it can be incomplete penetration or incomplete root penetration and the fifth category we have seen some imperfect shapes it can be uh, burned through or uh, undercut or the uh, presence of irregular width excess penetration and angular distortion are some of the examples under the category of imperfect shape and dimension and the final one is miscellaneous imperfection it can be uh, stray arc uh, spatter are some of the examples so these uh, defects presence is ob or ob presence is obviously going to affect the overall uh, property of the weld so we have to take some steps to avoid that so in the next videos we will see uh, what are the major reasons associated for the form associated with uh, each defect and we'll propose uh, based upon the uh, published literature as well as uh, from the textbooks what can be done in order to prevent those defects okay thank you